So we are given a series in this question and it tells us that our series is equivalent to the sum of two P series. So what this means is that somehow we have to take our series and rewrite it so that it is the sum of two P series. Now a P series takes on this form right here where basically you have one over N raised to some power. So our first step is to take our series and again to rewrite it as the sum of two p series so we have recopied the series down below and what we will do is begin to rewrite it now the first step in rewriting it would be to basically split up the numerator so you would take the first numerator of radical n and put that over the denominator and then add that to the other part of the numerator over the same denominator this is certainly a legitimate maneuver that we can make Next, we're going to try to simplify each series. And for the first series, we can rewrite the square root of n as n to the power of 1 half. For the other series, we might write that right now as 9 times 1 over n squared. We will see why we choose to do it that way in a moment. But first, we have to divide n to the power of half by n squared. Recall that when you divide, you actually need to, of course, subtract these exponents. Now, 1 half minus 2 is negative 1.5 or negative 3 halves if you prefer. So we can rewrite it as such. So now we have n raised to the negative 3 halves. But we don't want negative exponents, so let's rewrite it again. This is over 1. We can actually take n to the negative 3 halves and transition it to the denominator so it becomes n to the positive 3 halves. And of course, we have a placeholder of 1 up in the numerator. Now what we're going to do is take the sigma and we're basically going to distribute it. And this is a perfectly legitimate maneuver with sigma notation. So we'll distribute the sigma. This gives us the sum of two distinct P series. The first one being one over n to the power of three halves. And the next one being nine times one over n squared. We can actually factor the nine out as well. So we can put the nine on the outside of the sigma, leaving us with one over n squared. So these are both in the P series form, both this one and this one, because they are both written as one over n raised to the power of P. Now let's go back up to the P series note. And we notice that if the P value is greater than one, then the P series is convergent. So let's go back down and notice that for the first series, the P is equal to three halves, which of course is greater than one. And that means, according to the P-series test, that we have ourselves a convergent P-series. For the next series, the value of P is 2, and that, of course, is also greater than 1, so that, too, is a convergent P-series. So you have the sum of two convergent P-series. We can say that, therefore, the original series... radical n plus 9 over n squared is convergent. So anytime the individual P series converge, then the overall, P, the overall series converges. We just have to fill in these boxes now. So the smaller value of P, that was the 3 halves. The larger value of P was 2. And then the overall series again was convergent. 